What's up, guys? Today, I'll be talking about how I got into Duke, including my stats and ECs, even though no one asked for this video, but that's all right. I'm making it anyways. But before we get started, would it be possible for you guys to maybe subscribe to my YouTube channel? Of course, only if you're interested in the content, um, because it would be highly appreciated and it will help my channel grow. So, on with the stats. First thing I'll talk about is my SAT and ACT scores. I actually struggled extremely hard with both the SAT and ACT, taking both exams exactly three times. For the SAT, my highest composite score was a 1490, which is a 800 on math, and a 690 on reading writing, with I believe a 350 on the writing section and a 340 on the reading section. My highest ACT score, individual score, was a 33, but my highest super score was a 34. And that's what I submitted to Duke. And for that 34, I got a 36 on math, a 36 on science, a 33 on reading, and a 31 on English. Next, I'll talk about my AP scores. So, in freshman year, I took two APs. Well, one of them was self-study, one of them was AP Chinese language and culture. For that, I got a four. Yeah, it's kind of sad. But for AP World History, surprisingly got a five on that one. In sophomore year, I took three AP exams, four AP classes, AP Calculus AB, AP Calculus BC, AP Chemistry, and AP US Gov. Got a three in AP US Gov. I got a four in AP Chemistry and a five on Calc BC. Kind of sad about chemistry, but that's okay. In junior year, I took six APs. I took AP English Language, AP Microeconomics, um, AP Physics 1, AP Physics 2, AP Computer Science Principles, and I'm forgetting one already, let me think. It was... Um, hmm, what was it? It was... AP Statistics, that's right. Okay, there you go, I remembered it. Okay, AP Statistics. I managed to get a five on AP Statistics, AP Computer Science Principles, and AP Physics 1, but then I got a four on AP Physics 2, AP Microeconomics, and AP English Language, which was kind of sad, but that's okay. And in senior, I took a total of five APs but I took seven exams because I re I'm retaking AP Chinese and AP Chemistry to try to get a five in both of those. But excluding AP Chinese and AP Chemistry, I took AP Biology, AP um, Computer Science A, AP Physics C Mechanics, AP Macroeconomics, and I took AP Comparative Government and Politics, and those scores will be to be determined. I will, hopefully, if they're good, I'll, I'll do a AP score reaction video for you guys. So those are my all my scores. And in terms of grades, I had a four. Right now, my GPA is around a 4.71. I'm number six in my class out of, I think, 535 people. My unweighted GPA is a 3.97, I believe due to getting a bad grade in AP Chemistry, which is a B, which is kind of sad, but that's okay. And I think it was actually a very low B as well. And yeah, that's my GPA. And of course, cross rigor. I also took some courses outside of Green Hope High School, which included Calculus 3 at Wake Tech Community College in the summer of my, as a rising senior, I took Applied Differential Equations 1, MA341 at NC State, 
in the first semester of my senior year of high school. I got A's in both those classes, which is pretty nice. And I think I also took some other, other miscellaneous classes at Wake Tech as well. So yeah, those basically, that basically sums up my academics. Alrighty, on to my extracurricular activities. As for my extracurricular activities, I put down 10 activities in the Common App, and I also put down five honors slash distinctions in the Common App as well, and I mentioned those as well. So for my uh, 10 activities, the first thing I put was a competitive math lead. So in high school and today, and hopefully in the future, I will, I have, and I, I do love math. So I really love math. It's really fun to me and very interesting as well. And I put down some of the distinctions I got for this category in my number one extracurricular activity, including some of my awards and scores on these things. And I included uh, a high score on the AMC 12 of 105 and a high score on the AMC 10 of 114. For my number two extracurricular activity, I put down an internship at XB with daily challenge with Posha Low under the live sector. And this was where, this is basically an internship I applied to in my sophomore year of high school. And I essentially uh, teach students about math. Uh, and these are students worldwide. And I try to basically engage these students and teach math in a revolutionary way where we make math extremely fun and interesting, like a drama show, instead of some something like boring lecture. So we really try to make math fun for these kids and middle, like these like elementary schoolers and middle schoolers in general. So I taught classes of around 30 students. I hosted competition live solves to over 500 people on Zoom. And I taught for over 80 hours at the time, but now over 100 hours now. Now I have this like common app thing pulled up on my computer. So I'll scroll down to see what's next. All right. So now my number three extra activity was being on the Science Olympiad varsity team for my junior and senior years of high school. I placed third at NCS uh, Science Olympiad in Astronomy, which is the state competition, uh, state science Olympiad competition. I placed second and fifth overall at Raleigh Science Olympiad in It's About Time and Framing Questions, which is a regional competition. And we got fourth place at States in my junior year. But I actually competed in States again this year in my senior year. And it's kind of interesting because I happened to get my best placement ever this year. I got third place in Fermi questions at States, third place in Wind Power at States, and I got sixth place in Code Brushers at States. So all my events are top 10, which is pretty nice. And then my fourth event, not, not event, my fourth extracurricular activity was my Green Hope Science Bowl Team A. I was part of that. And I was selected for the top five member team out of around 50 plus members during tryouts. And we qualified and placed at the top 32 at the Prometheus Olympias, Olympus competition and won $250 as a team. It was pretty nice. We need to get 50 bucks. And um, also, it's actually kind of funny because the, this year, I didn't write this down, but we actually got top four at states for Science Bowl, or more like regionals, but only one region in our state. And we actually, I, we actually could have got first place really, we made nationals, but it, that's a long story for itself. My fifth extracurricular activity was that I was a board member um, and activity leader for this nonprofit organization called Service Speakers. And I prepared um, non-Newtonian fluid experiments at a camp in over the summer, which is pretty cool. We also crowdsourced over 
$120,000 worth of electronics, uh, over 800 individual electronics, and with only student partners of Mr. Beast. Also, I'm the chief operating officer of another nonprofit organization known as Find Your Orbit. We held monthly meetings for over 100 elementary middle schoolers. We had astronomy content, games, and, rover, and a rover project, which the students worked on for over several meetings. And articles on our website have four, four, over 400 readers in over 18 countries. So that's really cool as well. Next, I was a Davis Drive math counts coach, which I really enjoyed doing. I helped the club advisor to read and explain content and I, the club had over 50 members and I created trial tests and also helped coach students one-on-one. The last three things were about clubs. So I don't really have to mention that. Actually, well, the last two things were clubs. And sorry, the, the eighth and ninth thing were clubs. I was the vice president of FBLA and also the vice president of Math Bottling Club. The last thing was I just put, I was a math YouTuber just for fun, yeah. And now on to my honors. Um, I got, I'm a five time Amy qualifier. That's my first honor. I did that, well, ever since eighth grade, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh grade, and twelfth grade. I, though I did not really prove much since eighth grade, that's a different story for itself, even though I worked pretty hard. I do have my reasons though. Hopefully, at least I, I can explain why I didn't prove that much, but. Yeah, I got a six on Amy in eighth grade and I got a seven on Amy this year as a senior. And seven also happens to be my high score in the Amy. So it's kind of sad. Actually, this year I could have got like an eight or nine at least, but things happened. I spent two hours, I think, actually no, one and a half hours so solving all the problems I did. And I spent one and a half hours just doing like almost nothing. I just couldn't solve another problem for some reason. My mind was just freezing at that point, I think. So that's kind of sad because if it was a one and a half hour test, we would have the exact same score inside a three hour test. So it is what it is though. And then I'm also a USAMTS honorable mention. I got an honorable mention on the United States of America mathematical talent search. And that's pretty good, I guess. That's in 11th grade. And I, I did get a bronze medal this year, which I didn't get to put down because well, that was after the application was due. I'm also a three-time NAC qualifier, the second round of the National um, Astronomy and Astrophysics Olympiad. I also got in the 31st place at NC State Math Contest in Comprehensive Division, which is the highest division. This is a local competition and it's also, I mean, well, it's statewide, but it's also local, I guess. I mean, we count statewide as local. And also I put down, I was a 2022 Facebook Hacker Cup or Meta Hacker Cup round one qualifier. So I passed a preliminary round there. So these are not extremely good distinctions, but I mean, it is what it is. Um, and also I did get more awards this year, which is kind of weird because this is my senior year. But I did also qualify for Amy again this year. I qualified for US ACL Silver this year, USCO Silver, United States of America Beauty Olympiad. And I also qualified for the United States of the United States National Chemistry Olympiad or US NCO Nationals. So I qualified for locals. Yeah. And that's that's basically all from ACs. All right. So finally, I'll be talking about my essays and recommendations. As for my essays, I started extremely early because I started in the summer, maybe even before the summer um, of my junior year of high school. So really my essays, I had no rush in writing them. I was done way before the deadline for basically everything. It was pretty easy and smooth sailing. Funny thing, I actually early decision to Duke and I had to withdraw all my other applications other than I already heard back from NC State and um, UNC Charlotte before, well, around, right around Duke or before Duke. So I couldn't withdraw those, but everything else I withdrew. So yeah, even though I finished everything for those colleges as well, which, which is kind of good because I'm Duke, but 
also bad because I've kind of wasted my effort for the other colleges. But that's kind of a after the matter of fact thing, so it's hard to decipher when you're in the moment. In addition, um, I asked Rex for Rex extremely early. I asked actually the summer of my junior year instead of the fall of my senior year. So tip for you guys, seniors out there, ask for recommendations before the summer as a rising senior. So you can get that out of the way and let the teacher, your teachers know early. Yep, and preferably you want to ask teacher either in a junior year or a sophomore year of high school, not your freshman year of high school. Preferably so junior year of high school is the best. And you want to ask teachers that you think would write you a good recommendation, you think you had a good relationship with. And I won't be sharing my essays in this video, but I think my essays were, I mean, they weren't bad, I guess. They're relatively solid, I think. I wrote about my passion or my love for math and teaching in my philosophy behind why I love math and teaching in my Common App. My main thing was not just about math, but also about how I use my math to help serve other people. And I also talked about a lot about math and my supplementals, but I also talked about other aspects of my life, including the aspect of my life of serving other people, loving other people, because as a Christian, my goal is to serve others and also love other people in general, because that's what Jesus called us to do. And I think that's all for my ECs and, not ECs, sorry, essays and recommendations. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel. Also, if you guys are interested in an AP score reaction video, please comment down below this video, AP score reaction and like this video. If we can get to 50 likes, I'll drop an AP score reaction video.